Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so I want to speak about um, decarbonosinol, myonosinol, and then metformin. Um, there seems to, be, seems to be some confusion around the supplements, okay? So let me just break it down. Both of them are forms of inositol. Basically, they're both inositol, but they're derived a little bit differently. Um, so with myonositol, um, it's a B8 vitamin, it's a compound. And it helps with insulin balancing and you know uh, ovarian function and metabolic, um, let's say um, health. And with D Cairo, it's got a it's a from the same let's say branch, and it also does the insulin balancing, but also reduces is more effective in reducing um, hyper. Um, hyperandrogen, so high androgen levels, it helps in reducing it. A lot of times people say that you should intake myo and with D-Cairo for the most effective approach. D-Cairo, if you've been reading up on PCOS and fertility, D-Cairo um, uh, Cairo and Alcidol is one that's used for fertility purposes as well. Now, when it comes to not combining it with metformin, whether you're taking myo and alone or you're taking Cairo alone, or you're taking both combined myo and chiro and also both together, you need to be vigilant when it comes to taking it with metformin. Because both inositols function in um, balancing insulin levels. So what that means is you're already taking a medical pill, which is metformin, which is balancing your insulin, and now you're double dosing um, or triple dosing by taking in chiro and myonositol. So the best advice I can give you is if you're on metformin, not to take uh, the inositol as a therapeutic version or, or, or let's say intake, you will be doing it as a, you know half a teaspoon each, let's say, um, for the benefits that it derives from, from both of them for your situation or one of them, half a teaspoon each or half a teaspoon of one, um, and see how you feel when it, with the combination of metformin. So this is why it's important to monitor your intake of inositol when you're on metformin. Um, definitely you can take it as a supplement, but not as a, a actual therapy. That's not my, that would never be my recommendation because I already had a lady faint uh, because she overdid it with the inositol powders, uh, a powder I should say, she was taking myo and she ended up fainting because she was also on metformin. Because I should also indicate that insulin is different every day. So, and also too, it depends on what you're doing. So if your insulin, let's say, let's say, I'm just going to give my example quickly. I like the powder versions because, and I don't take metformin, is because I like the control. I like to know what's going on in with my body, even if I'm on the right track or not on the right track or whatever you, you want to call it. I can, you know, manipulate or control how much powder I need to take. So if I know that I'm going to be eating a low carb meal, I will be taking less of the inositol, or I may not even take it at all, because I know I'll be taking a walk later, whatever it is, because my insulin will balance out, and it's already low carb, so the insulin spike is not much. But if I know that I'm going to have a very high carb meal, I will take my inositol powder, intake that half hour before, or let's say I didn't intake anything, I'll take it after the food, um, and um, maybe then go exercise to burn off, you know, reduce the insulin, if I can. So again, the insulin balancing it has a lot to do with your diet, your exercise, and also fasting. If you have you know, intermittent fast, let's say twice a week or once a week, that also affects insulin. So for that day, your insulin is going to be like so balanced, and there's no point of even taking metformin. Um, I don't know how it works for the the medication. I feel you have to take it daily or what the situation is, but there's no point of taking it because you're not taking anything in. So your insulin is not spiking or anything because <laughs> insulin spikes as soon as you eat anything your insulin goes up so when you don't eat anything it goes down so this is where you know we um, understanding how your insulin uh, insulin responses with your body is very important so that's my little my little uh, soliloquy so when you take a metformin be vigilant of how much you're taking of the inositol you can take it uh, uh, you can take it but it has to be with certain doses uh, dosing and of course um, listening to your body and seeing, okay, can I increase a dose, not increase a dose, whatever it is, uh, when you're taking metformin. Um, okay, I thought uh, I'd share that. There were a lot of um, questions around this. And uh, yeah, any, any other questions, let me know. And I hope you're all well. Okay, take care. Bye.